All right, box mint repair replacement. Brian here at Grand Roofing. Let's get right into this video because if I don't capture your attention in 10 seconds, you ain't gonna stick around. We got a messed up box mint here. The cap is blowing off. We're gonna flat bar it out. We're gonna put a new one in. This one right here. But first, check this out. I was here a few days ago and it was supposed to rain, so duct tape, oh my God, duct tape is good for everything. Comment below, what's the craziest thing you have done or seen duct tape do other than make a hammock? There's a video on YouTube doing that, but anyway, if you like the video or this channel, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, I really don't care. Don't do it for me, but do it for all the other people out there in Internetville, YouTubeville that are searching this content. I do it because I got to do it. I'm going to sweat my ass off out there here in just a few minutes, and I'm doing it for anyone searching how to do this. So again, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel and ring the bell so you're notified when I put more stuff, more content out there like this for you, you guys, the viewers, searching how to, roofing, preventative maintenance, tips and tricks, anything roofing related or business for that matter. Let's get at it. All right, so as I get my things all loaded up here, what I need, since this channel is about tips and tricks, I'll just give you any I can find when I find them. So. Some tools you'll need, and if you like some of these tools that I show in my videos, um, I'll leave a link down below in the description we can get them. Most is this mag hatchet. This is amazing. I love it. I use it on a regular occasion. Flat bar, caulking, vent, and ladder. Uh, if you do a lot of ladder transporting, you're going to make sure you strap it somehow, and that's super convenient. This doubles as several things. It doubles as a quick loop here where I can strap it into the truck, won't slide out. But more importantly, it's always on your ladder. It's always sitting up here. You can do several things with it. One, if you ever need to pull your ladder up to another roof layer, you can do this and then click it on itself and it keeps your rungs together. So you can pull it up if say it's extended, you're grabbing the top, you don't just lift it. Uh, the other big one that I use it for every day, every job is it's always here to go through a gutter spike and then to itself. So your ladder is always there. It doesn't blow down when you're uh, on a windy day. That's embarrassing. Always be mindful of your surroundings of high tension lines. Under a gutter spike, around to itself. I have been victim of a ladder blowing off when I was on a store and a half before with one of the guy who was actually at an airport. And the uh, thing blew down. It's embarrassing. This is back before cell phones were important and everywhere. Uh, I think it was like 17 years ago, 15 years ago, something like that. So the guy on the roof, a little bit bigger than me, he held the air hose and I tried to slide down, burn my hand and then fell for maybe 10 feet. Wasn't very comfortable. Strap your ladder. Ever since then, I uh, will always strap ladder. It's always on here. You don't need a member to grab a rope or a bungee or something. This is also looped around constantly. So there's no tying, untying. You just pull it, raise it, lower it. I'm gonna start by flat barring this out. Hopefully it's not a stupid two layer job. Hopefully it's not all crazy sealed and caulked up. But any nails that are in the area, you're gonna need to get out. So I might need to bring that cut to there. This needs to be on that one, under this one. I could come out on it. Yeah, let's come out on this one. So you're going to need to remove any nails that are going to be in the way of this flange shoving in, and preferably a little bit wider. It'll give you a little extra ease of motion shoving it in up in there. I'm just reaching under there. Raising up the nails. Get that thing out of here. Wow, that's uh that's old looking. Do a quick dry fit so I know we need to go up and square it off a little bit. It is wide enough though. So we're gonna square this off. We're gonna tuck it under these two rows and onto this row so it drips down like it needs to be. There 
there we go so now i do know there are some nail holes in the area we're going to reseal those it is uh the supplies supply houses are closed down because it's the weekend of the fourth of july so i can't just switch these out but at least the water will shed the way it needs to be and end on a row one of the most common mistakes people make is they will put this down on the roof and then shingle over it well when water gets on the flange it goes under that row and it's on your roof deck so never a good thing so we're good with it aligned there the box vent is pretty much centered over the hole so it's going to get good flow get a good fair amount of sealer caulking of your choice and just drive the nails down on these ends it's a good idea to slightly tow them outward so it keeps this pulled down and out pretty good you can bury this row the water will still make it out on this one but i made the judgment call because this shingle here underneath was cut short because what you risk now is water coming down along this edge getting in that nail but it's not gonna be that bad We'll have to address this hole, this hole, and those holes. right there is why the mag hatchet is so good it holds your nail on the magnet so you can hold the shingle up with the other hand and get that started otherwise you're trying to do this with a hammer holding that back trying to hold your nail and trying to drive your your nail down mag hatchets are the shit link in the description below so i didn't take any of those out but i'm gonna have to seal this down because that seal strip's compromised it won't seal the vent is secured down Also, don't put a big streak of sealer because water can get stuck above it. So, just some dabs. What I use is this GSL 4500 brand. It's good for all kinds of stuff. It does not uh, eat up the shingle. There it is, all switched out. Got the old one out. This piece of crap that if you like the video please give me a thumbs up actually not for me it's not for me it's for anyone else out there wanting to know how to do this youtube needs to see some engagement to push it as the recommended uh, video so do it for everyone else out there looking how to do a box repair replacement in the channel anything roof related if you like the video and the content hit the subscription button and ring the bell so you're notified when i put out uh, future videos it's hot it's the weekend before the fourth so i'm gonna get off out of here and get my other stops done so as always, until next time, be safe and see you then. Happy 4th.